One of the questions people have asked me is how do I know that my cocoons are alive? Not all mason bees make it through the winter, sometimes they just expire. But I'm going to take here, I've got a male and a female, big size difference. I'm going to open up, you can see there's a little nipple on the end and not on the other side. So I'm going to be actually taking the one that has the exaggerated end. That's actually where the uh, mason bee larva, just before it goes into a little hibernation point um, as it's a larva, stretches out and pushes its head into the end of the cocoon. In fact, you can see this on the female as well. This, um, I'm between the two ends, I'm going to say, well, it's actually kind of tough to do, see in this one. But anyway, I'm going to take a um, sharp pair of scissors, and I'm just going to cut the end off, just the bare top. And now the, the antennas are typically pulled back. Now I'm actually going to go just along the edge of the cocoon, very carefully. See, I've made just a small sliver in it. And maybe one more little cut. So with that there, I've now got, um, I've now got a little male that isn't probably happy to come out. But here is the male that was in that cocoon, and it was fairly easy to open up. Now we're actually going to try a female. Same thing, I'm going to take the nipple end, and I'm just snipping off the outside edge, and then again, just a narrow little slit down the side. So I don't want to cut any wings or anything. And as I open her up, she also is probably not happy to come out, but here is our female. She's buzzing her wings, and come on out. Well, it's <laughs> poor little girl's coming out a little earlier than she wants to. It's probably a week or two early out here in the Seattle area. But that is how you can determine if your bees are alive or not. Notice how their feet are kind of splayed a little apart. They're out, um, uh, they're not used to being out, so you know that they're um, they're not ready for coming out if their feet are widespread apart. There you have it. That's how to open up cocoons.